All the markings of an attack are etched in her skin. I wasn't able to see anything, but I remember hearing that they were telling me that I was bleeding and stuff. Janice Shia was beaten, bruised, and left unconscious, she says, by a 17-year-old male, another student at her school, the friend of a friend. He called me a, like, a homophobic slur. He called me the F slur, and then he said all Asians are ugly and that he hates all Asians. The 14-year-old was repeatedly punched and kicked. Freaked out. Definitely freaked out. It was a startling phone call for Janice's parents. As soon as my wife saw the uh, ambulance in the parking lot, she ran towards the door, just jumped out of the car, it didn't even park. I'm sure any, any parent who has kids, they don't want this to happen. The attack happened during lunchtime, inside the school, in a busy hallway, in front of the main office. The motive is merely a guess. He thought I was telling people that he likes another girl. The school board says racism and discrimination aren't tolerated in the district, but refuse to be interviewed. BC's Minister of Education says all students deserve to be welcomed, included and respected in a safe learning environment while being fully and completely themselves. No student should be excluded or bullied because of their race, sexual orientation or gender identity. The RCMP says a grade 11 male was arrested and released to a legal guardian at the scene. An investigation is underway. Janice is still recovering from her injuries, including a concussion. Support from her friends has been important. They all comforted me and they were talking like, oh, I'll always, I can stay with you the whole day if you want. And that they'll walk me to class and that they'll just stick by my side. Going back to school and classes, she says, is a scary thought. Belle Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.